craft work my name is Ruthie and today I've got some pattern picks for you so following on from my previous video about um, sewing for Christmas and my tips for sewing for Christmas I wanted to give you some actual examples of good patterns to use for sewing gifts so first of all don't worry if you are a member of my family or um, present list in general then I'm not giving away any spoilers necessarily. Well, certainly not anything that I haven't made you before. So don't worry, you can keep watching. And also don't worry, I have already started. Just about, I've got all the fabric anyway. Um, and yeah, I've started sewing. I've got quite a lot to do, so I am a little bit worried. I definitely feel like I didn't adhere to my own rules. Um, for sewing for, for gifts because I feel like I've started a little bit late but I'm confident that I will get it all done in time fingers crossed anyway let's get on with these pattern picks so yeah thinking about gifts as you may know from that previous video one of the things I said was to go for something quite simple um, not just in terms of construction but also in terms of the fit because obviously if you're sewing for someone else, particularly if it's a present like for Christmas, you don't want to be doing lots of fittings necessarily. I don't anyway. So I prefer to make things that I know will fit because of the style. Um, so I'm going to give you a list of like sewing for women and then sewing for men. I don't have many picks for kids, but that's mainly because I don't really have any kids to make or buy for at the moment. I mean, I definitely don't have any kids, but also there's not really any in my immediate family um, that require handmade gifts anyway. So yeah, so sorry about that, but I'm sure there are plenty of suggestions elsewhere for that. Um, anyway, the first thing that I suggest is the Alex shirt from Sew Over It. It's in there. Um, capsule wardrobe city break ebook the reason it's good is because it's quite simple it's quite flattering and it's um, not too fitted but you could make a shirt dress for example and include a tie or a belt or something um, if there's someone that prefers a bit of a cinched in waist basically it will suit everyone's style so that's why it's really good it's just about picking the right fabric for it and particularly if you choose something like a cotton you'll be able to make something relatively easily with that and the pattern instructions are really good I've made this for my mum before and she absolutely loves it so yeah I really recommend that another thing I've made for my mum a lot which I've talked about before is the Helmy shirt dress um by named clothing it is fab it's such a good pattern and I wear mine a lot as well but my mum absolutely adores her dresses her tunics rather um, and she wears them with leggings so it's quite easy to style to whatever is your specific style and need for me I prefer to wear it with tights or I've even worn it with jeans because it is kind of a tunic and in the summer it's perfect like without jeans and tights it doesn't need to be too drapey but if you make it in a drapey fabric then it can look really nice on the body if you make it in a more structured like cotton or linen or something it still looks great it somehow still yeah looks really flattering despite the fact that there's not too much shape in there but yeah if it's someone that you think would like a little bit more shape to their clothes then make it in a drapey fabric and it will like flow with them um, and that can be really really nice so yeah highly recommend that pattern and it doesn't take too long to do if you are relatively sort of at least an intermediate sewer the next one is right behind me it's the Buchanan by Gallica it's actually a dressing gown and it's a really lovely dressing gown and you can make it in a bit more of a uh, drapey flowy fabric this is my personal one obviously this is one of two Buchanan's that I've made for myself. I've also made it for my mum um, and for my boyfriend's mum and they absolutely love them and you can just choose a really nice fabric. The great thing about it as well is it looks nice in almost any fabric and you can do a contrast um, band here. You can, yeah, so this bit could be contrast to the rest of it which looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, or you can do it just in one fabric like I have there. 
the possibilities are endless and people can be a little bit more outlandish I think with their robes but still you can find a great fabric that suits their needs um but talking about that I'm also going to be doing a tutorial for a much simpler design so, so yeah watch out for that tutorial coming soon because that'll be part of my like Christmas gifts series hopefully if I get it out in time if not then it will just be an easy January make or something but yeah hopefully I'll get it out in time and you'll be able to see how easy it is to make but if you'd like to buy a pattern then this is perfect I think it's particularly nice in something that's a little bit silky um, this is a crepe I think it's kind of like a crepe or a viscose um, and it's I've made it floor length as well so I'm extra glam when I wear it but yeah that's it's kind of what these dressing gowns are about being super glam and that's why they can make a really nice present as well because yeah it's something that they can wear a lot around the house and just enjoy feeling luxurious in a handmade gown how wonderful um and my other pick is another video of mine which is the drop shoulder jumper i'm gonna be making a few of these because it's so simple um and it's not too fitted again um the reason it's a little bit easier for me to do this though is because I'm making for people who are quite a similar size to me and I've also made lots of garments for them before so I know what size they are but yeah if for example you want to make a drop shoulder jumper for your mum and your mum's a lot bigger or smaller than you are you might not have a garment that you can use to copy the shape uh, which is how that tutorial kind of works. But if they're a similar size to you, then by all means, a drop shoulder jumper is a perfect gift. Now on to the men. Unfortunately, I can't give you too many um, different pattern company examples because I've mainly been quite loyal to one pattern company and that is Thread Theory because they seem to make patterns that just work a little bit better for like the shape of my partner who's a bit more broad shouldered. My brother is as well. Um, so yeah they're really good patterns and they are so easy to follow the fairfield button up is my favorite pattern for my boyfriend um i have made a few changes over the past just to make like the arms bigger um and to make it a little bit longer in the arm but not too many not too many changes at all and you can make it in like a really nice linen i've made him a few linen ones and denim whatever their style it also comes you can also get the add-on pack which is loads of um like alternative colors so i do it just with a granddad collar which i didn't know at the time was just about doing the granddad collar stand but it's good to have the add-on pack anyway because it teaches you how to do that as opposed to adding the full collar um so that's a really good pattern i really recommend it again you want to be on the intermediate spectrum and i would definitely say like i made a twirl for my boyfriend's birthday once and then I made him a new one like following that if that makes sense so it was like a wearable twirl um that I tried not to spend too much time on making perfect and I certainly didn't do it in the really expensive fabric I made him that and then I was able to see what fitting changes needed to be done it was far too tight on the arms for example so unfortunately that wearable twirl isn't wearable for him but I had planned for that and I was able to make him one that was wearable in the more expensive fabric. Also the Strathcona Henley I made for my brother last year and he absolutely loves it. If, if the man you're making it for is quite tall, this is perfect because it, it ended up being like surprisingly long. Um, and I definitely think if, it, if he wasn't so tall it would have looked a little bit strange so just bear that in mind when you're making it but um he absolutely loved it and it was great that it was really long and it's quite long in the arms as well because he's quite lanky so worked out perfectly and that one's a little bit easier a little bit simpler but obviously it is a jersey so again you want to be intermediate at least and having you know having worked with a jersey before is ideal now they've also released a pattern for a wallet which looks amazing and it's quite cheap on the pdf and there's three different options of it i'm going to be downloading this and seeing what i can make because 
I think it looks really great. I'm actually going to make one for myself because it's perfect for London for a card holder. Um, but also I think wallets are a really nice present, especially if you like hand make it in a really nice belt or if you're that way inclined, maybe a leather or something like that. And the last thing, which is one of mine, is not yet out, but very, very soon I will be showing you how to make a tie. Now, a tie in itself can seem like a bit of a boring present, I know, but a handmade tie isn't. Trust me, the, the men that I've made ties for have absolutely cherished them and it's really lovely to see and I think, yeah, I think it's just such a lovely thing to make. It does involve some hand sewing um, and not too much mach machine sewing. Actually, I think you could probably do this even if you don't have a machine but you'll have to be really good at your hand sewing. Um, but ideally you'll have a machine and then there's quite a lot of hand sewing involved. So there's something really special about doing something like that for someone as a present. So subscribe so that you don't miss that tie tutorial because ties are the perfect gift, especially when they are handmade. And then last but certainly not least, we can't forget about you. So I'm thinking Christmas and Christmas party outfits. So I don't really have that many Christmas parties to go to because I'm self-employed, but sometimes um, I do obviously hang out with friends or go to other parties non-work related. So I'm gonna be making um, this dress, which is the velvet wrap dress from from this amazing book um, called Freehand Fashion by Chanello Bally and Bully. sorry, <laughs> that should be a really easy surname to say but for some reason I can't work out if it's Bally or Bully. Um, but yeah, or it could be neither. But yeah, this is an amazing book and I'm really excited to finally make something from it because I actually haven't made anything from it but I have used some of the techniques um, to do with freehand sewing um but yeah this is going to be a lot of fun i got a lovely red velvet channeling mrs claus in general but yeah um so that's a great one um especially if you want to look a little bit more slinky like i do this year because i've been losing a little bit of weight and i want to show it off damn it the next one which is like a little bit different if you're going for something a little bit more demure i guess no, this is, I would definitely describe that one as demure, but something maybe less slinky um, is the Elisa Lex dress by, by Han London. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I've seen a couple on Instagram made in like brocade. You can get a really lovely sparkly brocade or like jacquard or something like that and it would look really nice. Um, I saw someone, instead of doing the like tulip style skirt, they did like a full circle skirt, which would be a very easy hack to do. Um, and it looks absolutely stunning. So if you've got like a real party party, um, Christmas party to go to, then I think that would be the ideal pattern. Um, and then alternatively, I've, I thought that my plissé trousers tutorial would also be ideal. I'm certainly going to be wearing mine a lot over the festive season because I think they're really festive um, and gorgeous and I love them. They're so slinky and I think that type of like metallic material just screams Christmas to me. So yeah, I'm really excited to be wearing those a lot as well. So if you haven't already seen that tutorial, then check it out. So yeah, those are my top pattern picks and of course I'm also going to be following this with a few tutorials as I've mentioned so I hope you found this useful and if you have any patterns that you use for gifts a lot then let me know in the comments I'd love to hear what you choose and what you think works really well and maybe what hasn't gone so well in the past I've tried to make my mum like a shift dress in the past and whilst I think it was nice um it wasn't something that I could make like in advance and surprise her with which was a little bit of a shame and since then I've decided I prefer being able to surprise people rather than like do the fittings and stuff because there can be quite a lot of pressure with that as well so that's why I like these patterns because I think they work well um, for that sort of thing 
so yeah i hope this has been useful and if you want to see more including all those tutorials then make sure you hit subscribe and i'll see you again very soon thanks for watching bye